can't think of anything. I'm sorry. I'd like to be able to, but I loved her. I do love her. I actually can't right now deal with the idea that she's gone, that I might not ever wake up with her again or go on a holiday because I think, sorry if this is a bit, but I think she's my soulmate. Stupid things like I love watching her eat. The way she eats is so, oh, she's funny and beautiful and brave. And like we were on the tube once and there was this man, he wasn't like a tramp, he was in a suit. And she realised this man had taken his, you know, his penis out through his flies and he was sort of rubbing it on her. But the tube was so packed, you know, so people didn't notice. But when she saw it, she started shouting really loud. Look at his chipolata! Till everyone was looking at them. And you'd think that'd be really embarrassing, wouldn't you? But I just love that. She's just fearless. And what happened is the whole tube started chanting at this man, Chipolata! Chipolata! And I thought, oh, I actually feel like I'm part of something, you know? For the first time in my life, I feel like I'm part of something. Like, we people can change things. People can stand up and stop shit things happening, because that's what it was like when I was with her. I felt connected to the world. And all the things the world could be if we were just better versions of ourselves. So it's like that better world was sort of a shared space that existed in both of our heads. So there was like a world that we lived in together and it was just for us. It was our secret. We had a secret and we lived in it together and... And that's it really. I just... really... love her.